Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I already made a video on how to translate using Vue.js, but that was in version 2. Now version 3 has been recently released and there are some minor changes when translating, so I thought I will make another video about it. So let me uh, show you the app that we are building. It's really simple. It has a title, a description and a like button. So the title will be translated in the front end. The description will be translated via an API using Express and like will uh, send a request to the server and uh, will get a message which will translate it in the front end. So this button has both ways of translating and a drop down where we can switch the language. When we click, we can see different uh, alert here. And if we switch again, we have a different uh, uh, translation. So let's see how to build this uh, simple app. So let's start building our API. I'm in an empty folder right now. And let's start by creating a package.json npm in it. So we need the package name version. So I will just keep enter. So we don't need any of that. Now we got the package. And now let's install some libraries. The first library is I will install express. And the second one, I will install course. So these are the libraries that we will need in this uh, project. So I install them and now let's create an index.js file. So in this file, I will begin by getting express is equal to require express. The same for course. So we got these two packages. Now let's create the app, which is equal to express open uh, curly braces. Now we need to use express.json and also course. Now let's create our first API. So the first one is up get. We'll get just a text here. We'll have a request and a response. And uh, the response will send just a text. So it will be just like this. For the moment, I will keep it like this. So the text is a translatable text. So I will paste it here. So the text has an English uh, text and a uh, German text. So I'll just copy the, the little fox poem and uh, I translated it to German. So we need to translate this text based on the request. So we will get the locale via the headers. So let's create a variable locale, which is equal to request header accept language is a header, but the header uh, adds a lot of stuff uh, after the first two letters. So we need only the first two letters. So we need the substring from zero to two. So now that we got the locale, the text here will be text locale. So this is how we'll translate the text. We will see how it is used uh, on the front end apps. Let's add the second API call, which is a post request slash like. 
Now, in this case, this is a very simple uh, API call. So this should be response here. We'll just send response, send, we'll send a message. Thank you. So in the first case, we'll translate it in the backend. In the second case, we'll translate it in the front end. Now what is left is to listen to a port. So up, listen, I'll put 8000. And uh, with it, our API is complete. Before starting the server, I noticed I made a mistake here. This should be a request. Now let's start the server node index.js. And that's it. We can use now this API to our front end apps. Now let's translate with Vue.js. I will use Vue 3 for this example. So the first thing you have to do is, is to install Vue CLI. I already installed it, so I will use it directly. Vue create Vue translations. It will ask us for the version, so I will manually select the features. And uh, I will pick TypeScript. And uh, that's it. So let's uh, continue. I will pick the third version. And I will uh, pick all the default values here. Now let's wait till it's completed. Now it's completed. So let's open it with our IDE. And uh, let's go to update view and uh, let's remove the styles here. And uh, we don't need the hello component. So I will replace this template with our HTML. And let's remove the component here and remove it here. Also, we don't need also the assets. Uh, now let's add bootstrap. Go to bootstrapcdn.com and copy the link and paste it here. Now let's start the app. Run npm run serve. Let's copy this uh, URL. So this is the front end that uh, we want to change. So the first thing we have to uh, translate the backend. So let's install Axios, npm install Axios. And let's import it here. Import Axios from Axios. We will add it on a mounted function. So once uh, this uh, template is rendered, we have to call mounted. Let's make it asynchronous. And here we will call await axios get HTTP localhost port 8000 slash text. So we need the text variable so we can show it there. So we ha have to add data here and we'll return text as an empty string and we will show it here. Text. Now we will set this that text is equal to response.data.text. Let's see it on the browser. We can see that uh, we are getting the text. Now let's make it possible to change the language. So we will add here a change listener and that will call a change function. We need to pass the value 
which is selected, which is event dollar event that target that value. Let's create a function. The function will be created in methods and here we'll add change. And we have to pass the length here as a string. Let's also create a variable here which is length and by default is English. So here we'll set length to length and we have to call again to change uh, the language. So we will create another function load. Let's cut this code, paste it here and uh, we will await this load. Let's make it asynchronous and also this is asynchronous and this will call also load. So we have to change the, the header about the language. So axios that defaults that headers accept language is equal to this dot lang. Let's see it on the browser now. If we change the language to Deutsch, we can see that the uh, text is changed. Now let's change the front end. So we have to install a package. The package that we will install is view 18n with at next in the end because uh, uh, is for view 3. And let's go to main.ts. Now that the package is installed, let's uh, also create a directory here, translations. And we will create two files, en.json and uh, d.json. For the English version, I will paste this HTML. For the German version, I will paste this HTML. Now let's import them here. Import en from translations en.json and let's do the same for German. So we are having an error here. So we have to add in our TS config a configuration which is resolve JSON module to true. Let's go back. Now they are not highlighting. So let's create our translation. So we'll create a variable i18n which is equal to create i18n. So we also need to import it from view i18n and inside we will have, we'll have uh, our messages which are en will be en and d will be d. We need also to set a fallback language so fallback locale each is en. So now that we have this constant, we have to use it here. So we have to create a constant here, up, and uh, the up needs to mount here, and uh, it needs also to use our package i18n. Now the package is uh, used in the main app. Now let's use it here in app.view. Before doing any changes, we have to add the setup here. And uh, we'll create 
t and locale here from use i18n. We need to import it from view i18n also, and we have to return them as they are. So now that we got these uh, variables, we can use our translations, so we can use it directly here. T title. Title represents in the translation this translation. So if we check the browser, we can see that it is uh, translated correctly. But it doesn't change when we change the language. So how can we do that? It's really simple. We add another uh, configuration here. So this is for the data for this. Uh, we can pass here data if we want, like message or anything. So we don't pass anything. And the second one is for the locale, which we want, which is lang. Let's do the same for the like button. T title. Sorry, it's like empty and uh, the locale is length. Let's see it on the browser. We can see that this is changed to German now. If we see both are changed and this is how it should work. The last thing that is uh, waiting is to add the click button here click and uh, this will call the click function and uh, let's add the click function here a sync click and uh, let's copy this part and we will await axios that post to the like method we need to translate it so the text will be this that t uh, for the response that data that message we don't pass any uh, parameters uh, and we pass here the locale which is this that lang and in the end we alert the text. Let's see it. Like, we can see thank you now. If we change it to German, we can see danke now. So this is how we translate using view 3. And uh, thank you for following this tutorial. Let me know if you, you want anything else from me.